Jesus Christ, it's slidey in here. What's up guys, Bearded here, and welcome to a special video. I think this is actually going to be the very first dirt bike video on my channel. So, granted it's in pieces, but this is my dirt bike. Apologies for the mess, I know it's not, you know, the cleanest setup, whatever, but it's what we can afford. Um, this shed actually belongs to my dad, but uh, he's allowing me to use some of the space. And we actually, yesterday and the day before, we went through a massive storm where it just rained for like a day and a half. So as you probably can hear on the microphone, it's very muddy, it's slick. Um, yes, we are on dirt. We don't really have a foundation for a garage, but we actually plan on uh, buying a new cover for this frame because uh, I guess it came from China and it's already, it's lasted like a year and a half and there's holes in it and it's gotten to the point where the material has weakened and the water is actually seeping through the material and then things get wet. As you could tell, I had to cover my dirt bike because it was, it was just, it was a disaster yesterday. So as you can probably see behind me, you got the I got the dirt bike wheel here. I had to take it off because uh, the brake rotor for the rear was making the actual brake calipers, like the whole thing. It was jiggling back and forth as the rotor was turning. I ordered the parts. I'm still waiting for them. Christmas shopping and like Black Friday, Cyber Monday, Christmas shopping, that's all basically gone underway. It may be delayed. I hope it doesn't get lost in the mail, but I'm going to show you guys here. This is the bolt for one of, or one of the bolts on the rotor. And I could not get it off. It actually, it, it basically, it needs the uh, hex key or I call them Allen keys. It stripped it because it wouldn't come out because these bolts actually take uh, Loctite. But I don't understand why, like, I don't know if this is a Canada thing but why would you even have a hex bolt? Because now to put these back on, or like I need a new bolt for this one, but to put them back on, I need to uh, get new ones, but I'm also gonna need to find an attachment for my uh, impact wrench, which I just bought, it's in the mail today. I, I'm gonna say this disclaimer right now. I'm, I'm not a professional in any way. I, I bought a dirt bike because I wanted to go on some trails and exploring, especially during these times with COVID and all. I do live rural. It's like, we're not really affected by COVID here all that much, but uh, it is starting to worsen in our area. All right, so my shoes are muddy. So I know you can only see the rear of it right now. I'll try to get some better angles uh, to put over while I'm talking. This is a 2009 RMZ 250. I did some research before buying it. And I basically just typed in best bike to start on. It said that the Suzuki's were pretty good, but I went ahead and I went in a, a step further and got the RMZ. But anyways, I, I think this is kind of like the motocross model. But anyways, I've mainly been taking care of it. I, I've rode it around all summer. Uh, I say all summer, but it was in the, the shop a lot because they were taking forever to do the simplest little thing. Basically, after I bought it, I just wanted him to look it all over, uh, replace anything that needed to be done. I think. They put a new chain on, they put new sprockets, because uh, I guess the sprocket was missing teeth and I didn't even notice. I've been taking care of the oil changes. I've been cleaning the air filter, which I need to buy a new one actually as a spare. It, it's a good bike, I like it. The only thing that I was surprised with is I was kind of scared because the engine makes a lot of noise. I thought I had a bad engine, whether it was a bad cylinder, ba bad piston, and I had it looked at and he said that for one, my valves were uh, out of spec. He just kind of, he tuned them, but it kind of sounds like the, it's hitting the valves again after like a couple times of riding it. So maybe come spring, I'll maybe consider just getting new valves. The other thing is the clutch likes to stick a lot. So when you start it up cold, if you're not revving it just a tiny bit before shifting into first, of course with the clutch in, you will feel like a jolt when it goes into gear, but if you don't do that, it'll just stall. But once it's warmed up, it doesn't matter. So what we're gonna do is, I'm going to start it up for you guys, let you guys hear it. It might be a bit loud because the microphone is on me, but it won't be behind the exhaust. Um, so like I said, the engine might be a bit loud, but that's just how Suzuki's are. All right, let's get this thing started. Typically it will start two or three kicks cold. Warm, it usually starts up right away. I'm, I might get a little wet from this. There we 
we go, let's tone down a little bit. So as you can kind of hear, the engine does click and clack a bit, but that's just how they sound. I, I, I was really worried at first, then I looked into it, and that's just how they are. But, uh, of course, if it gets louder, then there's an issue. So that's my dirt bike. <laughs> it, I have, I've never really heard it slap like that on the exhaust before. One thing I will say about the dirt bike, it has had some use in the, uh, through the years. It was originally bought for actual motocross. The, a guy raced it for, I think like five years or something. Then he sold it. I think it's had two owners after that and then I bought it. It didn't come with papers, which was the scary part because the guy promised me he had papers but he, was, he kept saying, oh, he's waiting on the other guy to sign it. Apparently he went to sign it, but it fucked up. And then with COVID and all, the DMV wasn't open. I was just sitting there waiting and waiting. And then finally, uh, I just took it to the cops and they looked at it and said, yeah, it's fine. And they gave me the papers. They just wanted to check that it wasn't stolen or anything. Now, I think uh, the front shocks are due for a clean because the, they're, there's like a very slow leak, but I think it's just that there's dirt in there because I just replaced those seals. And uh, other than that, like I've been keeping the, oil, the chain oiled. Uh, I do need to check the radiator. I haven't checked that all year. Uh, I checked it when I got it, it was fine. And I think just before taking the wheel off, I did change the oil too, and the air filter. But yeah, it's, I, I like it. I like the bike. It's not super heavy. I'm still getting used to it. I'm learning different techniques when riding, like for gaining control, uh, or re, not regaining control, but I guess holding control of the bike. Like keeping your, your legs, um, sort of squeezing the bike and depending on what you're doing, where you should sit on the bike. It is looking like it's due for a clean though. I've got big plans for this. What I do think I am going to do, like over time I will actually fix it. But one thing I did kind of think of doing is now that I have a better knowledge of dirt bikes, uh, of course there's still plenty of room to learn. What I want to do is I want to keep buying like cheap used dirt bikes and then just like quickly fixing them up and then reselling them and making a profit. And I don't necessarily want to like start a business or a shop or anything like that, but it's just something else to do on my free time. Instead of always playing video games or just sitting around doing nothing, I can just come out here on a rainy day and just work on this for a bit. Granted, I do need to figure out like the best um, quick excuse me, the best quick ways to uh, buy parts. I hear Tusk is pretty good though. It's just that I got to order from the States. I've been told as well that this bike actually is um, set for a uh, two, uh, 250 pound person. That is, it says tool. I don't know who it was, but that was the sticker for when he was racing. I kind of like the side plastics on it. I kind of, I want to maybe replace um, those sides i think the fenders are fine and then i maybe want to switch the front from white to black but anyways it's it's a nice little bike it's uh it's good for what it is like i said i just gotta put the back wheel back on and then we're good to go yes i put boards down like like look look how water went through here for a day and a half and this ground used to be solid and i'm just sliding around on it it's disgusting but yeah let me know what you guys think I don't really know what else much else to say about this bike. I mean, it, it's got good power. Of course, as a beginner rider, it's good enough for what I want. But anyways, guys, that's the extent of my dirt bike. I hope you did enjoy. Feel free to like, comment, and or subscribe on this video. Hopefully, uh, I mean, winter's kind of coming now. So depending on when I get this wheel on, I may not be able to get it out much. But we've been having some pretty mild winters here, so we'll see. But definitely come springtime, I will be making lots of videos with this. I will be going uh, to some trails possibly traveling around the province to other known trails, just checking them out. I will also be sort of practicing uh, riding on this. So uh, it, like, it's been giving me a good workout, like on the trails, like going into the attack position and keeping the bike steady, going uh, on some bumps. Like it, it, it works out my back a lot and my arms, but uh, I wanna start learning how to like jump it and stuff. There's a few spots like that are natural that I can just sort of hit a jump. There's a field next here that our neighbor has let me, is letting me use, but it's, uh, for what I wanna do, it's not great. But anyways, yeah, that's it for me. So until next time, guys, bye from you.
God, I hate this freaking cat.